Hi everyone, welcome back. So I wanted to do a get ready with me, like first impressions. I have a ton of makeup and instead of doing like a PR unboxing, I thought I would like mash up the videos, show you guys what I've gotten in PR recently. I haven't been very active this summer just because my kids are all home. They're going back to school next week so I will finally be able to start filming more regularly and get back on my regular schedule with Friday favorites and stuff like that. So, yeah, I just thought combining these two, showing you guys what I got in PR and using them and doing a first impressions because I know I have a lot um, of new products coming in that I've wanted to try, haven't gotten around to trying any of it yet. If there's anything in here that you guys want more information on, let me know in the comments down below and I will do more information on it. Let's go ahead and just jump into it and see what we have for eyes. Okay, I haven't used this Norvina palette. Uh, I got this from Anastasia. I mean, I bought it um, from the Anastasia website when it came out and I decided that I just don't know how I feel about it. I like it okay but I'm just like so so on it. So we're gonna go ahead and use it today. Um, I'm just gonna do like, I really like this shade right here. It's called Eccentric. I'm gonna use that and then maybe like the gold. I'm just gonna do like a pretty neutral look today. Uh, we, we have Meet the Teacher for my kids so I don't wanna be like too too crazy. So I'm just gonna do, well, I'm gonna add glitter. So I don't know, we'll see. Cause I got some new glitter products that I really do want to try. So I've just prepped my eyes with Benefits Stay, Stay Don't Stray, which I don't necessarily love, but I'm gonna go in with that, the shade right here, Eccentric, and I'm just gonna buff that in. I've done this look several times. This is not a first impression on this palette. I have used this palette before. I just haven't used it on camera. What I will say, I think the shadows for me, they blend fine. They are a little bit like, kick up a lot of product, but I don't mind that when I'm using an eyeshadow. If it's pigmented, if I can get it to blend, those are the things, and if I like the colors, those are the things that, that I look for when I'm using um, an eyeshadow palette, so. My kids are playing cards with my husband right now. So you might hear them in the background. Ay ay ay, you guys, any of you guys who are moms out there, you know whether you are a working mom or a stay at home mom, summers are interesting because kids think that they are like you're on a cruise or something and you're the cruise director. Every day it's like, what are we gonna do today? What are we gonna eat today? Can I have a snack? Ugh, I'm just, I relish in the summers because I like to like spend time with my kids and I, I love them being home and you know getting to see them all day every day obviously is ideal I mean but let's be real <laughs> at the end of the summer I'm kind of like yeah I could I could go uh, see the thing is it's like when they go back to school I'm like ready but then when they're gone all day I'm like oh I miss them I always can't wait to pick them up at the end of the day so I don't know it's it's been a a long summer thankfully um you know when you think about it you only have 18 summers with your kids and then i mean if that and then they're gone and then they you know grow up and have summer plans and summer jobs and you know so anyway i try and take off in the summers and really spend time with the family what they have in here is this shade called base which I really do appreciate because you can kind of just use it to soften the edges so I'm going to just use that to like just soften the edges like just a little bit around that shadow uh, with the same blending brush so we're still in with the same blending brush because sometimes I get carried away so I'm just going to soften the edges really quickly now I'm gonna go in with this shade. I think I'm gonna use Violet right here. And I'm gonna mix in a little bit of Passion right here. We're just gonna go do a little dabble do um, and go in the outer corner right here. So like I said, I'm just doing a pretty simple look. I've done this look multiple times and I have liked the way that these eyeshadows layer on top of each other it's like I like purples 
but I've kind of moved away from them like the older that I've gotten wearing full purples on the eyes. I like the way I look in full purples. Like I always appreciate the look. But I don't know. I haven't even touched this wild child color rose gold. Like I haven't even swatched them. And they do look beautiful. So let's, let's just give a little swatch. I mean they do look beautiful. I just am like not going. That would be pretty on the lid. I'm just not going for the those right now. Like I'm not as drawn to it as I thought I would be. Like when I first saw that she was doing like a, a purplish type of a palette, I was like, oh man, there's a little bit of patchiness right there, and I think that's just from my actual eye, cause like my eye crinkles, right there, and it's always hard for me to get a good blend. But anyways, when I saw this palette, I was excited about purples, but then again, I was like. Am I really wearing purples? I wasn't going to buy it. wasn't going to buy it. And then I'm like, you got me, dude. I have to buy it. So, I'm, I mean, I'm, I am glad I got it. I love her um, Modern Renaissance and Subculture palette. I actually love the Subculture palette. I know it got so much heat, so much crap, but I love that palette. So many eyeshadows in it. I use all the time, and I get them just to work fine for me. So, um everyone kind of had a different opinion a lot of people had a different opinion on that palette okay let's go ahead with the shade dreamer it's just a really nice champagne shade i've used it a lot i'm going to just dip into it with my finger we're going to go real simple just go boom boom with my finger this is just like an easy this shadow is so pigmented it's so pretty i just kind of apply it with my ring finger and then I'm going over it with this finger. Bless my husband's heart for playing cards with the kids. <laughs> I mean, he sits and plays and plays and plays with them. I do think it's so cute. Okay, I'm going back into that volatile and passion um, and we're just gonna touch up the outer corner right here. So are any of you guys watching um, Bachelor in Paradise. I don't know why, but I'm like not really connected to any of the people. Like I don't have like an investment in their love story this yet this season. I don't know. I'm just like kind of I'm into it because I love the drama, but I'm I, after watching Love Island, which if you haven't watched Love Island on Hulu, you're missing out in life. Watch season four. So good. Season three was another favorite of mine. I'm starting season two now, but after watching that, I'm just like, nothing can compare to you. Nothing compares. So Max sent me a bunch of products and I talked about a little bit about them on my Snapchat. One of them I wanted to use is the Dazzle Shadow Liquids. I'm going to go in with Flash and Dash. I have a few shades here. Pantherize, which is like a purple. It probably doesn't show you anything if I'm just showing it to you like this. But it's like this really pretty purpley shade. This one is Diamond Crumbles. It's got little purple flecks in it. That would be pretty with the Norvina palette, but not for the look of that I'm going for. I want to do the gold, obviously. So now I have swatched these on my hand. I have not tried them on my eye, so I am curious um, if we're going to have some glitter fallout. And I will have to update in the description box, as always, for first impressions videos. Um, check below and see some more like obviously first impression is sometimes taken with a grain of salt i don't really do a lot of these types of videos because a lot of people are like hey your first impression can be different than your second impression so i'm just using the applicator to apply this on my eye and it looks like it is just basically like a clear gel with glitter in it so uh I have some other shadows from Stila that I do prefer more, and I do have some from Pixie um, that they sent, and I have tried them, but I feel like they have a little bit more of a base to them. This just literally feels like glitter on the eyes. It's just literally like a clear gloss with glitter in it. So we'll see how that looks. We just put a little bit on and boom baby boom we'll we'll see how that wears it honestly just looks like I put my eyes just like a pat patch of glitter I'm not gonna lie I don't love it I do not love that at all the base of the Stila ones have a little bit more 
pigment to it. It's almost like a cream, sh liquid cream shadow with glitter in it. This is more just like straight, like I took craft glitter and put it on my eyes. I don't like it. I mean, I don't love it. So, I don't know. Negative for me. I love their Dazzle Shadow, like pressed shadows, but these are just kind of like a bust. It literally looks like chunky glitter so i liked it swatched but on the eyes it's not doing it for me okay i'm going to use this pixie liquid liner and this is something i have tried before so we're just gonna get a little wing action here this is really nice dark black liquid liner and it does go over glitter things really, really well because it's so nice and black. Anyways, what I was saying is if you don't watch Love Island, seriously, it is such a good show. I just love it so much. It's like Big Brother and Bachelor in Paradise had a baby and they came up with Love Island. If you like drama, and I swear the girls' butts on this. I'm like, is that even real? Like, do people's butts even really look like that? Like, God gave with both hands to these girls' butts. I'm not even kidding you. I would push down my mother for a rump like that. Next product up, we're going to use a mascara. This is from NARS. Look at this little fancy packaging. Thank you, NARS, for sending this to me. And it's called the Climax. I'm excited about this one because it has a really nice... Look at this packaging boom baby it has a really nice fluffy brush but it's natural bristle I I prefer a natural bristle brush for my lashes by the way I, I couldn't find my eyelash curler so this is uncurled eyelashes so I bet you on regular eyelashes like that are curled this would be even better holy mackerel that I think I'm really gonna love this mascara. I really like this mascara a lot. It gives decent amount of volume. I don't know if I'm feeling fake lashes today. I don't really think I am. Like I said, I'm going to my kids um, meet the teacher night. So I don't really think, sometimes I feel like if I wear false lashes out to stuff like that, some of the teachers like look at me like, who do you think you are? Maybe that's just me. Maybe I would think that about someone to be, excuse me, ma'am, who do you think you are looking all fake lash right now at this little event? I'm just going to go back in with that volatile shade from the Norvina palette. The only thing is I wish this had like a little bit of a black because the deepest color right is right here and I just need something darker to kind of give more depth to um, my looks. But anyway... We have our straight craft glitter on the eyes. I have a lot of options for face products. And I know I'm going to only choose one. I know which one I'm going to choose. But I did get these from uh, Maybelline. These are the Superstay Multi-Use Foundation Sticks. I don't think I'm... I don't think I want to use those for my face. I might use one of these to like contour with. Um, I might use this one to contour with. So I'm going to leave that one out. Um, I got a couple of primers from Maybelline. I got some foundations, primer, and stuff from Becca, and I really want to try it out, and I've had a lot of people asking me about it. It's called the Skin Love Foundation, so let me get that PR package, and we will dive into that. It has a primer in it, a glow stick, some information about the foundations, and then these drawers pull out, and they sent me every single shade of this new foundation so the first thing is this it is a lick the glow elixir glow nectar brightening hydra complex this says it's a lightweight radiance boosting serum infused with glow nectar it hydrates it has blueberry and cranberry honey and molasses it's 48 dollars. so i'm going to use this as my little primer for today i think it's just a serum but i'm going to just use this as my base sort of like priming product this smells like cucumber like straight cucumber oh it smells so so good 
we'll just see how this feels on the skin. It has like a green tint to it and then almost like a little bit of a sheen, I would say. Like not a ton, but just like a little bit, but probably nothing to like make your skin completely glow. Two to three drops layered before primer and foundation. Oh, so I guess I should go with another primer. Maybe I should go in with the one from Maybelline. Okay, this is the Blur and Defend from Maybelline. I've never used this. It has sunscreen in it. This one smells a little bit like sunscreen. So I guess it blurs your pores and it defends against the sun, which in Texas we can always use sun protection. Holy mackerel. Okay, let's move into the foundation. This is a Skin Love Foundation. It is a weightless blur foundation. It's $44. It says it's a medium buildable coverage, long lasting foundation with a natural velvety smooth finish. It's for all skin types. It's customizable pigments that are adapting to the natural skin chemistry and undertone for your first, for your custom match and finish. It has vitamin C, ginger, cold press avocado and melon blends to hydrate. Okay, let me just show you. It looks like there are about five or six deeper, darker shades. Then there are about five tan shades. Then there are about five or six fair shades and five or six light shades. Maybe it's like fair, light, and then medium. Okay, so there's 24 shades. I counted them. 24 shades. So I do feel like there is a variety of shades. It looks like I might be this shade right here in buff, which is what I typically am. I want to show you one of the lightest colors. There's like linen. This is a foundation that if you guys want a full review for me to swatch all the shades, I will. And then this is the deepest shade in chestnut. There's it, the packaging reminds me a lot of one of my favorite foundations from IT Cosmetics. That line does not have a ton of color options, so this this has all right. I would say equal amounts of light, tan, medium, you know, deep shades, but, you know, not expanded in that. But it does have equal parts, which is, I guess, what a pretty good thing. It's 1.23 fluid ounces, and it comes in a squeezy tube, but it has a pump which I do appreciate. So I'm gonna go ahead and pump a couple of pumps. I did about two pumps on the back of my hand. So we're just gonna start, I'm gonna pat that in. I do have a few breakouts, so we'll see how medium cover this is. I'm typically like a full cover person, so I would love if I could build this up to fuller coverage. Ooh, I don't know if this shade is a little bit too light. It looks like no, it matches my neck. Just need to really get in there and blend that. Definitely, I would say I can see how it is a medium coverage. Yeah, definitely a medium coverage. I mean, you can still see my breakouts. Okay, I think this color is a good color match for me. So this is half of my face. You can sort of see the coverage. I have so much like redness and stuff. Um, on my face right now, but I think it's pretty decent coverage. So this is one layer So it was two pumps basically one pump on one side one pump on the other So I would say pretty decent coverage definitely medium coverage. I would not call this full coverage whatsoever I'm gonna do a second layer of just maybe one pump to kind of touch up. I do have other spots like on my cheeks um, That I would like to get a little bit more coverage on I do feel like I like the way it looks on the skin right now. We will see how the coverage on this is. Uh, I mean the coverage, I mean the lasting power on this is. I have so much redness around my nose right now. Okay, two layers of the foundation are now on. And I still had some left over on my hand from that second pump. I like it. So far, so good. Like, when I'm looking at it in the mirror, I like the way it looks. I want to see how other products apply on top of it. So we're going to keep going on. I'm going to put on some concealer. So I'm just going to go in with this one from Flower Beauty. I really, really like this one. This is the Full Coverage um, Con Light Illusion Full Coverage Concealer. This one is really nice, especially if you have dry under eyes. I really like this one. I'm going to press that in really quickly. This darker shade is in Warm Coconut 
and this has like a sponge on the other end I'm not gonna use that I'm just going to use this we're gonna go in and that might be too dark but I'm gonna go with it I'm just gonna maybe just do a little bit this shade is probably too deep for me sponge to try and blend this out I may have just messed up because this looks very very orange oh I don't, I don't know if I messed up with this or what this looks very orange <laughs> in the viewfinder it looks even worse Ooh. Lord have mercy Laura what did you do I feel as though I perhaps messed up okay Hopefully I can get that. I actually like that product. It dries like to a powder. So I would do, you know, one side at a time. That shade was too dark for me and it was also a little bit too orange. But I, I do actually like that product for contour. So I'm just going to have to find a different color um, that would work. Maybe the shade Toffee might have been better. Again, this is the Superstay Multi-Use Foundation Stick Cream to Matte Formula. This shade might have been better probably a little bit yeah it still runs all very orange there doesn't seem to be a cool tone shade they all run a wee bit orange okay I'm just gonna go in with my NARS Laguna just to go over that because I don't have another powder bronzer um and hopefully this will work one of my daughters is singing with a microphone in the back who gave that child a microphone you ask with a with a projection speaker I do not know. I love her though. She sings at the top of her lungs, bless her heart. Oh, she's singing Moana. <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. I actually like the way that contour looks like once I softened it and everything. So alright, that's that's okay, that works. We figured that out. Okay, I'm gonna go in with this white eyeliner this is from makeup forever it is one of my favorites it's called all around white it is just their um, artist color pencils you can use these for lips eyes are like very nice multi-use pencils i like putting a white or a nude in my waterline i feel like it brightens my eyes i have very very narrow closed eyes so i like to do something that's gonna make my eyes look brighter under my eyes i'm gonna go with this eccentric shade again that's a, like orangey color I'm, gonna, I'm going to mix it with incense and we're just gonna go right under the lash line with that boy i got a feeling if you get to know me oh what is she singing now? I love how I'm like, I'm going to film. Can you guys be a little bit quieter? No. She's saying, you feeling me? You feeling me? Feeling me? Whoa. Uh oh. <laughs> I literally cannot. Um, I put a little bit of this love shade, which is the pinkest shade, just a touch of it under the eye. I'm going to put a little lower lash mascara on. This is the Matte Giga Black Lash. I went and saw the movie Crazy Rich Asians last night. So good. I loved it. Literally loved it. Apparently it's a good book. I don't read very much. I should, but I prefer movies, so thank you for movies being available to watch. Um, but I recommend the movie. It is so good, and I again, if you're a book reader, I've heard the book is great as well. Okay, I'm going to use this NYX blush in Mocha. I haven't used these blushes in a long time, but they're just so good. All right, we have several choices for highlighters. I don't know what I want to do because I really want to show a couple of different ones. So I think I'm going to go, we have these from Natasha Denona. It's great. Mother Scooter. Okay, I just knocked everything over. This is called the Super Glow Highlight. There is a fair light medium and bronze. I've showed these on my Instagram several times. 
A lot of people said they wanted to see swatches, so we're going to do swatches right now. So first we have the bronze shade. This is the deeper shade. It's really pretty yellowish, like a really nice yellowy gold. This would be gorgeous on like a deep complexion, a deeper complexion. I love that. I kind of... <gasps> what is this? What happened? Oh, I got something everywhere right here. When did this happen? I don't know what happened on my cheek there, but something was was terribly wrong. Okay, then we have the fair one, which is the lightest. I love this one. Oh, it's so beautiful. And there's actually another one that is, I think, a dupe to this that I'm going to show you um, from... A drugstore brand but this is the fair one. Oh, I love this one it's kind of the one I want to use let me just let me just put a little bit of this on I just think this is nice and subtle it's not like too blinding but it is like a little subtle highlight oh I love you I love you and where you go I'll follow I follow that's so pretty is it not oh. then we have the light medium again another one for my complexion this thing is so beautiful i've been using it all week so this is not a first impressions because i have used these but there's other ones that, that will be a first impression i'm going to use okay i just i'm just gonna just touch a little bit of this one on oh that's so pretty Okay, I'm going to use the other one for, to highlight my inner corner and my brow bone. If you're wondering about those Natasha Denona highlights, they're beautiful. They're stunning. Pixie sent me this glow package, and I have talked about some of these products before. These right here are their liquid fairy lights. I don't love them, but I've heard that if you put them on the back of your hand, they're kind of like the liquid shadow that I use on my eyes. I heard if you put them on the back of your hand and kind of press them into your eyes, they might be better. So I'm going to try that. Um, and then these are what I'm talking about. These are the glowy gossamer duos. Look at these. I mean, so incredible. I just, I need to swatch these for you. This one is delicate dew. It's like more of like a pinky one. Okay. Oh, nuts. Hang on. I got to do another my other hand. I can't. I can't. I mean, the pigmentation is like insanity. If you would get these wet, look. So I think this shade right here is like the lightest shade um, from Natasha Denona. This one is Subtle Sunrise. Oh, baby, baby. Let me get two new fingers. Oh, I need different fingers. Dang, I keep messing up. All right, this hand, these two fingers right here. Let's do right there. That one's more of like a goldy color. I mean, these highlights are stunning. Okay, I think I'm going to use this subtle sunrise. I'm going to use this gold shade in my inner corner and highlight my brow bone. I wonder if I should get it a little bit wet. I'm, I'm going to get it like a skosh wet. Maybe I should use, you know what, I'm going to use this one, this light shade, since it's very much like the highlight that I used, I'm going to use the lightest shade right here. Do that in the inner corner, we'll do that a little bit on the brow bone. Oh, you're beautiful, I love this color, a little highlight, you are so pretty. Okay, let's go for lips. Okay, I did the It Cosmetics Your Lips But Better Nude Lip Liner. I love that thing. I was sent these Shine Compulsions from uh, Maybelline. And this one's called Baddest Beige. And it just, it's just really, really beautiful. I wanted to try it. Oh, yeah. I love that color. These Shine Compulsions are so beautiful. I love them. But this shade is gorgeous. 
and very very wearable i like that a lot so yay i think this is going to be like a new product that i keep in my purse and i love this color this was another color i wanted to show it's called taupe seduction this looks really really pretty like a very nice and pretty wearable shade from the collection shine compulsion feel very comfortable on the lips another product i briefly wanted to mention is from mac it is their um, Plenty of Pout Plumping Lipsticks. I have a couple of colors. I'm just maybe going to swatch two for you. This is called Kiss and Cuddle. Now these have a little bit of a plumping factor in them. I've worn them before and they almost like feel minty without a mint scent. They smell like vanilla. So they have like the classic MAC lipstick scent. This is this color right here which looks very similar to the Shine Compulsion to be honest. But this just has plumping effects to it and again kiss and cuddle that's what it looks like and that is a swatch right there let's go in with this shade right here this one's called um so swell this looks like it might be similar to this shine compulsion it's like a mauvey shade let's see oh no it's a little bit more neutral right here so I really, really like these. Like I said, they do feel plumping on the lips and the plumping lasts like for a long time. They actually have a really good wear time for like a plumping lip product. So anyways, I think that is it. Let me, let me look at this foundation um, in the mirror again, close up like now that everything is kind of on my skin. I liked the way other products went on top of it and, um, the foundation looks really really good on the skin so i think it's gonna really be about the wear time on it i really love that highlighter from um the natasha denona one i love that one so much i think it's like enough it doesn't like accentuate texture like the the formula of it there's something about it that's not like too metallic but it's reflective and it doesn't like make my skin look bumpy so anyways um I'm super impressed. I really liked that mascara from NARS. I liked everything I tried. I actually do end up liking the way that the look turned out from the Norvina palette, but I didn't, I don't like the glitter, the MAC Dazzle Shadow Glitter, Liquid Dazzle Shadows. I don't like that at all. It's too craft closet glitter for me. So I, I like the Stila ones much, much better. So anyways, hopefully it was fun to see a few products to get a full face look. I thought I would be more chatty in this video and I don't even know where all my chats went. I didn't, I wasn't up on my chat game, but um, hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing this video. Again, if you guys want to see a full video on the Becca Skin Love, like after, like this is the first impressions, but if you want me to try it for a little bit longer, give more information and then do like swatches on my arm of all the shades, let me know down below. I can do a full video on that. So far, this Becca foundation feels extremely comfortable. I really like the finish on it. I like the coverage. I feel like I could build it up. And uh, yeah, I like the way that it looks. It definitely is a winner in my book so far. So we'll see about longevity. Thank you guys so much for watching. Check down below in the description box to see any updates on some of the products that I use and how they wore throughout the day. And I will see you all in the next video. Mwah.